You've probably been hearing the word social distancing a lot lately, and you might be wondering what that means. Think back to some of our past lessons about personal space. Social distancing is very similar to some of the lessons we learned when we learned about personal space. Let's look at the exact definition of social distancing. Social distancing, also called physical distancing, is an intervention used to prevent the spread of a contagious disease by maintaining a physical distance between people. So it's more of a physical distancing than a social one. It involves you staying six feet away from other people and avoiding large groups. Question. If I don't walk around with something to measure six feet with, how can I tell if I'm at least six feet away from another person? That's a great question. It might be hard to tell how far apart six feet really is. The American Red Cross came up with a great way to help you. You could think about two large dogs standing nose to tail. That would be about six feet. Keeping space between yourself and others helps avoid spreading illnesses. Is there anything else I should do if I have to go out in public? If you have to go out in public to go to the grocery store or to go get something to eat, there are some things you can do to help yourself be safe. It is highly recommended that you wear some type of cloth covering your face if you have to go out in public. It can help protect you and it can help protect other people to help stop the spread. It's even important for really young people, just like my little niece Lexi, to wear their mask also. Another important thing is for you to wash your hands. It is recommended that you wash for at least 20 seconds. If you don't think your hands are really dirty, you can use something like a hand sanitizer to help keep them clean. Just because we're social distancing doesn't mean we have to be rude. You can still greet other people. Safe greetings include a wave, a nod, or a bow. The corona pandemic is a challenging time for all of us. Our routines have been disrupted. You're having to do online school, as well as many other different things. During this shelter in place, it is not required that you stay inside all the time. You can go for a walk, ride your bike, or even dribble the basketball by yourself. While you're inside most of the time, you can get creative. You can play with your dog, you can play video games, and you can do things to stay social, such as virtual socializing. You can chat and text with your friends or even play online games. I have found lots of good things online to help me understand social distancing. These are some of my favorites. And that's a basic explanation of what social distancing is. Even though I can't be with you all right now teaching you, I want you to know that I miss you all and I hope you are staying safe. Keep social distancing.